Hey, it's Jennifer. Today I want to talk about recovery days and what those could look like. So I get asked a lot, like, what should I do on my recovery day? Recovery day. I know what my workout should look like and how to work really hard in the gym or on a run or whatever, but then it feels weird just doing nothing. And so you're right if you've been pushing it, trying to get stronger or faster or whatever your goal is, um, doing absolutely nothing and just sitting on the couch on a recovery day isn't gonna be super helpful or feel that good. Um, so here's a few things to consider when you're planning a recovery day. So one, do something you enjoy. So hopefully, I mean, you just enjoy whatever physical activities you're doing in general. Um, but if you really like to be outside, like go walk the dog or take an easy bike ride, um, something that's not too challenging or fatiguing, but you know, kind of gets your muscles working and just feels really enjoyable and fun for you. Two, do something that makes your body feel good. So for example, if your feet are kind of sore, maybe going for a light jog isn't like what you want to do. So personally, like I feel really good doing a little, like just 10 to 20 minutes of yoga, um, just kind of clearing some headspace, getting my body moving, but nothing too hard. Most of the stuff is like sitting, lying down on the ground. <laughs> um, but it just feels good to like get moving and stretch a little bit. So something that feels good and not something where you're kind of like, oh man, like I really don't want to do this because I'm sore or whatever. Um, three, recovery days are a great time to work on your sticky areas in terms of mobility. So if you're like a desk worker and you're sitting all day and you have pretty tight hip flexors um, or quads, might be a nice time to do some foam rolling or some gentle stretching um, or just like hip mobility stuff. And then um, in addition to mobility, just some like really gentle, light, non-fatiguing, not heavy muscle activation. So again, going back to the desk worker, for example, maybe doing some bridges that like open up the hip area and then kind of work the glutes. Nothing like super weighted or anything like that. Just kind of getting things moving um, would be helpful. So something you enjoy doing, something that feels good on your body for that day, working on your mobility, and then really gentle strength muscle activation. So definitely not doing nothing. Um, try to hit at least one to two um, recovery days during the week. Um, I know a lot of people feel like, oh, but it's a day where I could be like grinding it out and working harder in the gym and I'm like, losing progress time but actually your your body needs that time to um, recover it's why it's called a recovery day and like repair all of the little micro tears in your muscles that's what being sore is um, so you'll find that if you can take those recovery days you're going to be able to do more and be more productive in your workouts or your runs or whatever you're working towards so just my two cents on recovery days make sure you take them and make sure they feel good on your body Thanks for listening. Bye.